the button has now been hit. Give me a moment here. All right, so we, I'm glad you said that. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are now uh, in record mode. Listen, I want you to block off. Make sure you have no distractions um, for the next 60 to uh, maybe um, 60 to 90 minutes or so. Um, um, Tuesday night typically is, well, hold on. You guys see my screen. What do you guys see on, on, on the screen here? What are you guys seeing? You see that? Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. You see that that that's fine. That's what you should be seeing on my other computer. That's not showing up. So I wanted to make sure you guys weren't seeing a a white screen. So all right, well, okay. Don't we maybe having a little tech technical issue. All right, so uh welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want you to block off. Make sure you've got no distractions, no texting, no Facebooking or anything like that. Uh, you really want to pay attention um, uh, for this next little bit. Now, normally Tuesday nights, since about mid March or so, uh, we've been having um, uh, generic training webinars aimed at teaching our audience how to build um, their enterprises, uh, leveraging the internet and leveraging mobile marketing. Um, we'll be very soon uh, launching a mobile marketing platform and it's designed for you to be able to promote any offer. So particularly, you know, a lot of people that follow us come from the network marketing space or maybe they've delved into the affiliate marketing space uh, 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 these days. Um, but they're, they're looking to build some type of marketing enterprise. And the purpose of the mobile marketing platform that we're, we will be launching soon is to assist you in promoting whatever your offer happens to be. So Kirk, if you're uh, promoting a, a weight loss product, uh, um, Nelson, if you're promoting a, uh, an e-commerce uh, uh, network where you know people join and they uh, get an e-commerce training package or what have you so that they can build out an Amazon business or what have you, uh, if you're promoting a nutritional drink, or whatever, whatever it is promoting, that you can promote that better. And what we've been doing on these Tuesday nights is we've been teaching core principles to build whatever business you are looking to build. So we're going to be launching a mobile marketing platform uh, in the next few weeks. And I hope I'll get a chance to talk a little bit about that platform and how I see it being synerg syner how I see synergies between the mobile marketing platform that we've been talking with our very intimate audience for the past uh, few months and this thing that's starting to take the internet by storm, this thing that has a lot of buzz, is it, is it real? You know, is it crap or is it gold? Um, if it's crap, then darn, you know, that'll be a disappointment. The reason I started sharing it a little less than a week ago is because there is no financial risk. So when the potential rewards are great, don't be afraid to take the limited risk. Well, there is no financial risk, Susan. Um, the only risk is, people get their hopes up and they don't come through. And unfortunately that is a risk, um, but we weigh that risk relative to what if they do come through, okay? So what I wanna do tonight is I wanna talk about THW Global, what our perspective is on it, and then how we see it uh, uh, working with our mobile marketing platform that we'll be launching soon and why those two together could make for an amazing uh, um, uh, marriage. I believe if THW Global does what they say they're going to do, I believe there's no reason why you should not ultimately have a six-figure business and perhaps even a seven-figure business. And with what I know about our mobile marketing platform and the income part that it will also uh, bring to the table, Again, there's no reason why in time that you should not be able to develop not just a few hundred dollars extra a month, but I'm talking major financial impact, six to seven figures. All right, so let, before I go anywhere, if you are game, if you want to ultimately build a six, hundred thousand dollar more uh, a year income or seven figure million dollar a year more income, if you're game for that in your questions box, put game. I, can, I need to see... I need to see several games before I go tonight. If you're game, six or seven figures, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you, 
If you're not game for that, then I'm going to waste your time tonight. This is not, I'm not, this is not the webinar for the person that wants to make 200 bucks a month. I want to see some, okay, good. Okay. All right. So let me give you my disclaimer first and foremost. All right. On the THW side, I will try to, to talk about our mobile internet blueprint as well. Uh, some things just, I just saw some things that changed the direction I was going to go for the webinar because it was going to be half and half, but I just saw a post from THW global and I want to cover that because I think it'll address some questions that some of you have. If you don't know what THW global is, then don't worry about it because I'll bring you up to speed. Okay. Um, so let's, let's go to work. Let's go to work here. All right. So now uh, what I'm what I'm going to attempt to do here is infuse some 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 training content while I talk about THW Global. So it's not just a hey, you need to be a part of THW Global, but you really start to understand how to start to build out a large scale uh, enterprise. OK, so last Thursday, a very dear buddy of mine that we've done business together. We've never met each other. We've uh, uh, always just done things online. But since 2008, 2009, he and I have done business in some form or fashion, whether uh, he joined me in a venture or he bought something from me at my recommendation or vice versa. As a matter of fact, Queen, if you'll remember in 2012, there was a company that started with a, a letter Z. Remember that? All right. That's all I'll say. They started with a letter Z. Well, he was my... He, he was my sponsor in that particular uh, a company. So we did all right. We did okay with that letter Z, okay? And so anything that he sends me, I'll take a look at out of respect for him. Doesn't mean I'll do everything, but I'll take a look at it. And so last week, last Thursday, he sent me something on this um, company that is in pre-launch called THW Global. And thank you for those of you who said, duh, this is what THW stands for. I didn't know what it stood for, even though I was talking about it. it I, I never saw it didn't hit me what it st uh, stands for. The whole idea behind THW uh, or that THW probably work, stands for 10 hours a week or 10 hours weekly. All right. So he sends me this information and initially give me a moment. Let me go and find it. OK, so he sends me this information and it talked about people earning up to twenty five dollars an hour um, watching content. I'll refer to it as content. OK, now, most of us that have been in marketing online are probably familiar with the revenue sharing models out there, the advertising revenue sharing models where you watch um, uh, ads basically from other marketers mostly from other network marketers. You watch ads for 15 seconds or 30 seconds or what have you, and then you progress and you watch the next ad and you watch the next ad, and then you, you buy advertising packs. And then on a daily basis, if you watch ads, you get some earnings, what they call a rebate. So initially, as I was going through the, the material, that's what I thought it was initially, um, which I wasn't interested in that because we've been in the revenue sharing space. We've seen that uh, uh, that dog and pony show, we, we made a lot of money in that space, but we know that there are some inherent challenges with that space from a regulatory standpoint and maybe even from an economic standpoint. Okay. So that wasn't anything that we were interested in, but we continued to read the information. First off, the website of THW global was not, you know, doesn't blow you away. You know, it was a very, very simple website. Um, you know, it, I could have put together this website, meaning if you could have put together this website in, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. So I'm initially I'm starting to blow it off. But I have to remember, Queen, that that company back in 2012 that started with a Z, their website was ugly, too. OK, now, as I started really ugly. All right. <laughs> OK. And, and, and I've seen really nice websites. You know, a lot of money invested in the websites where the whole thing was a sham. All right. So, you know, I, so at first I wasn't uh, overly excited about the look of the website, but I started reading the content and then the content started to make some sense to me because it didn't appear that it was another rehash of an advertising revenue sharing program. Instead, they were talking about watching things like movie trailers, watching commercials, commenting 
uh, uh, even uh, video uh, surveys, so on and so forth. Okay. And so uh, what we did as we started to, to read through the content, we started to see the compensation element. We saw that it was free. We didn't see anything in the information that suggested that there would be any um, uh, 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 amount that people would have to pay out of pocket. Now, I do want to give you an asterisk there. Do not be surprised if when they launch, if to be an affiliate, there might be some type of affiliate fee. I would not be shocked at that. Uh, you see companies in Power Network is one of the first ones that came out with that, that, that built their network in a big way, where I think it's like nineteen ninety five a month. And that allows you to be an affiliate that allows you to earn commissions that helps to offset some of their uh, uh, expenses and maybe even provide a little profit for them. We've seen that with companies like DS Domination, uh, companies like Infinii, so on and so forth. So I would not be surprised if um, there was an affiliate something or another but it does not appear that there are any other financial barriers to entry a two hundred dollar grand poobah package or thousand dollar package or we need to buy ads or anything like that okay now what really started to intrigue me was the fact that a person could spend up to 10 hours a week watching what they call better than youtube videos all right. And these videos are promotional in nature where, you know, some company, somebody somewhere is trying to sell something and that that activity alone could allow someone to earn up to one thousand dollars a month. Now, here's the training part. Here's the training part of this. OK, let me go back to my whiteboard for just a moment. OK, when you are marketing, one of the things that you want to do is you want to um you want to give me a moment my bird flew off my little birdie just flew away ah there we go all right you want to you want to understand the frustrations this is why i would take some notes all right the frustrations the pains of your target market okay so now we've been in the make money from home online and now mobile niche where people want to make an additional income whether it's two hundred dollars a month or two thousand dollars a month or twenty thousand dollars a month from the privacy of their own home leveraging the internet now we want to incorporate leveraging uh, mobile so what are some of the frustrations and the pains of this market well we know that most people in this market don't make any money most people in this market don't know how to market and so since most of what we're doing requires some marketing since most people don't know how to market guess what they don't make they don't make money so the first thing i saw as a potential if it's gold it could be crap all right there's my disclaimer it could be crap but what if it's not queen what if it's gold one of the first things i one of the first things i saw is that now we have potentially if it's gold, all right, so, so that's the last time I'm going to say that, okay, Queen? Right now, we know it could, it's not launched, it could be crap, okay? All right, so I think I've said that enough now. Now, let's assume that it's gold. Let's assume they follow through. Is that is that cool? Is that cool? Okay, so you got, you, you, we got the disclaimer in, in uh, up front, in and out of the way. Okay, so here's one of the challenges, and if you as a marketer can bring the ointment you can bring the healing you can bring the salve to your target market what are they frustrated with what are people pained by what are people agonized by in your target market well our target market is the same people that want to make money from home they want to make money using the internet they want to make money uh, via mobile so the first thing i saw with uh with thw was that a person Without marketing, without recruiting, without having a list, a person could could earn up to a thousand dollars a month. Now let's break this thousand dollars a month down. Okay, so what happens is a person could earn up to twenty five dollars an hour 
viewing promotional content. That's let's call it that. All right. Maybe it's a movie trailer. Maybe it's um, uh, an ad from a car dealership. Okay. Maybe it's an ad uh, about uh, 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 running shoes or what have you. And, and just think this through. Just think this through. There's seventy eight billion dollars a year that's paid in TV advertising. But what TV advertisers are understanding is they're not getting the same bang for the buck that they used to. See, Queen, now there's something called a DVR. Let me tell you, I'm a huge U.S. football fan, all right, U.S. Uh, uh, NFL uh, football. Let me tell you what I do, Queen. What I do is I will, I will DVR the game. So let's say the game comes on at 1 p.m. U.S. East Coast time. I will DVR the game. I'll record the game. And I won't even go and watch the game until it's about 30 to 40 minutes in. Why, Queen? Because I know that if I get 30 or 40 minutes in, I, I can hit that fast forward and I don't have to watch the doggone commercials. Okay? Now, if I'm doing that, who else is doing that? <laughs> yeah, okay. So what THW is saying is, hey, we are going to have a captive audience where people are incentivized to watch these promotion, the promotional content because they're going to make money if they watch the content. So now they can go out and, and get contracts with major companies that want to advertise and put their content in front of a captive audience. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay. All right. So you can earn up to $25 an hour viewing promotional content. You can view 10 hours a week of promotional content. So that means if you maxed out your 10 hours, if you made $25 an hour, that $25 an hour changes from country to country. All right. So in the Philippines, it might not be 25 bucks an hour. It might be 10 bucks an hour. And you may say, well, well, darn, that's that. That's not good. Well, the thing is, ten dollars an hour in the Philippines means a whole lot more than even twenty five dollars an hour means in the U.S. OK, ten dollars an hour in the Dominican Republic. Queen, I can tell you, means a whole lot to somebody who is working all day for fifteen dollars for, for a day, which is, you know, not uncommon. All right. So now what we saw is that now I'm, I'm going to use a twenty five dollar figure for what we're talking about, knowing that in some parts of the world, it may not be twenty five dollars. OK, so up to twenty five dollars an hour viewing promotional content, 10 hours a week of promotional content that could be two hundred and fifty dollars a week. And if you multiply that out by four weeks in a month and obviously, you know, there's some months so it's going to be five weeks. You know, it's like four point three three is the average uh, uh, for the whole year. But if you just do four times four, you're talking about $1,000 a month. So, Queen, the only other um, niche that we've really been able to see over the past few years where a person who's not good at marketing could make good money online without recruiting or sponsoring or even having a list, the only other niche that we've seen has been the e-commerce niche. And one of the reasons that we've done well in the e-commerce niche is because we were able to offer a solution to the pains of our market. A lot of people are not good at marketing, so on and so forth. And some of you are doing very well in the e-commerce niche, just building out your own e-commerce businesses. And some of you have done well promoting various e-commerce uh, uh, systems out there. All right. What is it doing? It's helping to bring ointment, healing, salve to those who are not good at marketing. OK, so Queen, by the way, that right there was a little training since that's what we do on Tuesday nights is we do training. That was a little training. You want to identify the frustrations of your market, identify the pains of your market and then look for ointment look for the healing look for the salve look for solutions to those problems and now you simply share those solutions 
You simply share those solutions. Okay, so that's the first thing that I saw that intrigued me. All right, give me just a moment. All right. Then the second thing that I saw, bear with me. All right, so I saw, wait a minute. Joe Average, not good at marketing, can make up to $1,000 a month. How would that impact him? But then, Queen, it started to expand because for the past few years, our target market had been people primarily who were looking to make money online in some type of marketing enterprise. Now, all of a sudden, our market expands well beyond that. I start thinking about my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law is not a marketer. He's not a marketer. All right. Great guy. Uh, and I don't know how many hours per day he's in front of the computer, but I know he's a computer dude. Well, Queen, if I could share with him, hey, Jamie, here's a great way, buddy. You could earn up to a thousand dollars a month simply viewing a couple of hours a day, 10 hours a day, uh, a month, a week of, uh, of promotional content. Well, Queen, shoot, that's a great way for him to make some extra money. And then I started thinking, I started thinking about my parents. My dad just had surgery. My, my parents are in their 70s. Um, my mom, I'm so proud of her. My mom is probably on Facebook more than I am. <laughs> All right. You know, she, she can view a couple hours. And, it, and you don't have to be glued to your TV because you can view it from your smartphone. You can view it from your tablet. Oh, shoot. This is a great way for my parents to generate an additional you know, up to $1,000 a month. And I'm starting to think about all these people, Queen, that are not marketers, that I would never talk to about marketing because I already know they're not entrepreneurs. And then I start thinking, well, shoot, what if you got one college kid on a campus who, who, who started making that extra uh, money there? Man, how quickly is that thing going to wildfire? I'm like, man, well, then I'm reading this and I'm saying, wait a minute, there's a, there is a referral side to this. Now, how does that work? The way it works is if you refer John, John views content. All right. John can make up to $25 an hour for every hour's worth of content that he views. You as his referrer, Tina, you make up to $5 per hour for every hour that he views. Paul, is that not, is that not leverage, buddy? He's doing the work and you're getting five bucks an hour. Well, how many people would you like? Okay, now let's extrapolate that out. Big word for a college kickout, right? So $5 an hour, if he does 10 hours a week, that's $50 an hour you're getting as an override because you refer John. John might not be a marketer. John might be your next door neighbor who just got laid off. John might be the dude that goes to your place of worship who needs some extra money. John might be uh, that retiree who is working at Walmart, but really doesn't want to be working at Walmart at 71. John might be that college kid that just graduated but can't find a job or they're underemployed. Are there a few people like that in the US? Yeah, just a few, okay? So now, now it's not just limited to the marketing space or the network marketing space or the internet marketing space. And if John views content for every hour he views at your referral, you referred him. And by the way, what did it cost John to join? Nothing, okay? All right. For every hour he views, you're earning up to five bucks. He views 10 hours a week. You're earning up to 50 bucks a week. Now multiply that out by a month. That means every personal referral to you could be worth $200 a month. Queen, what other network marketing company are, are, are any of us associated with where you could refer one person and that one person could be worth $200 a month when they're not on auto ship, when they're not on a monthly subscription, by them simply viewing the content. So what's in it for John? He wants to make a thousand bucks a month. What's in it for you as his referrer? 
you could earn up to $200 a month. Now, all of a sudden, I don't have any hair, but I feel like my follicles are kind of tingling, queen. I might grow, you know, a little piece of hair here or there, okay? And so then I read on, and it says, it's not just limited to you referring. You could build a referral network. And in our network marketing space, we would refer to this as a 10-level, unilevel, meaning you can refer Michael Green as many people as you want. Now, I love that because for every person you refer, that could be worth $200 a month for you. So Rita, I already like that, right? Okay. Now, so Rita could refer Sheldon. Sheldon could refer Tina. Tina would be on, who did I say? Rita. It would be on, on Rita's second level. Well, now Tina views content for every, I'm right here. I'm right here just so you know. Okay. For every person in Rita's 10 level deep organization. Rita referred, who did she refer? Sheldon. Sheldon referred Tina. Tina refers Vernetta Johnson. Vernetta Johnson refers Vicki Hines. Vicki Hines uh, refers William, uh, uh, is it Clinkle Smith? You know what, I'm, that, that, William, as long as we've been connected, I should know how to say your last name. I'm sorry, buddy, <laughs> okay? All right, 10 levels deep. Anybody in your 10 level organization that views an hour's worth of content, you make up to a dollar for the hour that they viewed of content. What if they view their 10 hours in a week? You just made $10. Someone on your eighth level, someone on your ninth level, someone on your 10th level, someone on your seventh level. You just made $10 for the week. What if they view the full 40 hours a month that they could view? You just made potentially $40 a month. Somebody on your ninth, 10th, eighth level could be worth $40 a month to you. Now, queen, queen, de, de, queen, uh, I figured out how long ago I went bald. My, my, my uncle, when he turned 50, um, someone was videoing it and I saw how big my bald spot was. I was, this was 15 years ago. Well, he just turned 65. All right. So I was like, oh, okay. So I've been bald for 15 years. Cause when I saw how big that bald spot was, I, I wasn't willing to do the donut thing. I just, I just shaved it all off. Well, the front of my head and the middle of my head is as smooth as a baby's bottom. No, there's, I never, when I shave my head with a Mach 3, I'm just shaving the sides and the back, you know, the donut, right? When I read that, I, I declare it felt like alfalfa. It felt like I had that one piece of hair in the middle of my head starting to stand up. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now. This is why we started sharing this last week at the risk that it's crap, because if it's gold, this could make us, if it's gold queen, we're going to make a lot of green. Okay. Oh, did you hear the hip hopness? If it's gold queen, we're going to make a lot of green. Did you hear, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Okay. All right. Okay. Now, so real quickly, I'm going to do this very, very quick. And then I want to, I want to, start to infuse a little bit about um, our mobile internet blueprint and our tenants there so you can see how this is going to start to uh, come together. So that's what I saw. Now, uh, they just sent out today, there was a new communication. I just saw it like 20 minutes before we got onto the webinar. So I wanted to, to show some things here real quickly. Uh, by the way, they have a um, hundred... Let's see. 112,000 folks have have registered an account. All right. 112,000 folks have registered an account. What's interesting is that this morning when I was uh, sending out an email, there were 103,000 this morning. All right. <laughs> 9,000 new accounts have been registered since I started working on our email uh, uh, to send out to our audience earlier this morning. Okay. Now, they sent out this uh, communication, so I wanted to just go over a couple things here real quickly. Um, and they're talking about the, their goal of getting to a million uh, registered users. 
um, and they anticipate it being less than two months. And they give you some big names that we're familiar with. Like it took Instagram two and a half months to have a million users. Uh, it, it took um, Facebook 10 months to have a million users. So we're well on our way to getting a million people uh, that are uh, registered. They talk about what's happening with traditional advertising and they go with this communication. They tell you how the up to $25 uh, comes into being. Now they did this also this past weekend on Friday. We sent that out. So maybe you've had a chance to, to take a look at this. We did send this link out to our email list right before we came onto the webinar. Uh, so if you're on our email list, you should be getting that if you haven't already done so. Now, what I wanted to hit on is this, and this is what started, what I, what I started to really like. I saw this uh, on, on Friday, I think, when they sent out a communication. They said, example, there are simple ads that try to sell a person a $20 item. They're talking about the type of content that we'll be viewing. And then they said, but there are ads that try to sell a person on a $30,000 automobile. There are ads for realtors, doctors, banks, mortgages, and most any product or service that you can think of. Uh, did you realize that TV commercials are losing market share every day? Um, they expect by 2020, more than 70% of the public will no longer be watching TV commercials. And so what they're, what I liked Queen is they're talking about viewing promotional content from things outside of the network marketing space, things outside of the affiliate marketing space. Okay. I like that. That's really what I want to see. I like that. Okay. Um, so let me see. Is this the one? Hold on. Let me make sure. Is this the one I wanted? Yeah, I think that's the one. Give me a moment. Uh, they also have a, ah, this is what I wanted. They also have a, a frequently asked questions page. And let's hit uh, some of these. Um, some people ask about payment systems. They said you'll be able to choose from PayPal, a global pay card, uh, Bitcoins. I like that because I like cryptocurrencies. Request a check. Uh, pay is calculated daily and available to be requested weekly. So, Queen, now people will be able to have a weekly paycheck. All uh, uh, pay requested on, by Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern, will be sent or available to withdraw by the following Friday. So, Queen, love that part there. Um, some people were, were asking about, uh, the binary in the back office. When you log in, there's information in there about a binary. And I was confused because I saw nothing initially about the binary, about there being a binary on Friday, when they sent out a communication, they said that the binary is going to be phase two. Don't worry about that right now. Um, and in this frequently asked questions page, they talk more about it. They say that uh, right now, Queen, everybody is coming in. So you've got your 10 level organization that I talked about, you know, the way you make money viewing yourself, the way you make money when someone you referred views, the way you make money when anyone in your 10 level organization uh, views. Ultimately, there's going to be a binary part. What they're doing right now is you're building one huge power leg. When I read this, this made so much sense to me. Um, and they said that they're not going to open up the dual side until there's 3 million people in the power leg queen. That means queen. Do you understand what that means? That, that you're going to, you're all, all you're going to, when they, when the binary part comes, all you've got to do is build one side, right? Cause every, <laughs> I mean, that's a huge side there. Okay. They say, um, uh, so if you're seeing binary stuff now, don't worry about it. You know, yeah, you might get excited cause you see the numbers, uh, but you don't have to worry about, anything like that as it relates to binary. Uh, what they're saying is when the binary comes about, um, that's going to deal with pay. looks like, like pay per click type of, uh, uh, marketing, uh, that won't be used for the watching of videos here. The unit level is unlimited with, and is the pay structure, which will be used for watching videos. Okay. Um, so, there's some answers to some of your questions. Again, um, we've already sent that out in an email and some of you, some of you I may already have gotten this from the company. Um, Queen, what I simply did was I went and got the link that they sent out on Friday um, and it had already updated. So I, so it's, it's there. Okay. All right. Now here's what I want to do now. So we do get a chance to get a little, 
mobile internet blueprint in, okay? So here's what I want to do now. I want to give you um, the, what's the word I want to use? The, I'm going to call it game plan. That's not the word I want to use. Um, um, foundation, there we go. I want to give you the foundation of leveraging THW into a six or seven figure business. Now we're making the assumption that it's gold now. All right, we've already thrown out our, our disclaimers. Okay, so we're, all right, so we're making the assumption that it's gold. We're speaking queen that it's gold. Okay, all right, all right. So here, this is where I would take some notes. This will be our messaging to our audience and then I'll bring in mobile internet blueprint, how that's going to assist all of us. All right, number one, I want you to commit I'll even use a stronger word. I want you to covenant maxing out your viewing income. Meaning I want you to commit to the 10 hours a week. Now, I know some of you may be saying, I don't have an extra 10 hours. I work a full-time job. I've got an e-commerce business and that takes a, a, a bit of my time. Or I've got a marketing business and I'm learning about marketing or, or what have you, okay? Notice my words. I want you to commit or covenant maxing out your viewing income. I didn't say you had to be the one viewing. You can leverage somebody else to view your content. Someone in the house, a son or daughter who's, who's not of age, uh, uh, or what I will be doing and what I will be sharing with a, lot, a large portion of our audience is I will be outsourcing that. Now, I probably won't outsource that in the first week or two, because I want to see what people are going to be seeing because it's particularly if we're seeing like commercials and movie trailers and what have you, and it's not just network marketers trying to pitch their network marketing deal. Queen, one of the things I'm going to be doing as I'm viewing is I'm going to be recording what I'm viewing and we're going to use that in our promotion so people can see, Hey, all you got to do, look, this is what you're doing. All right. And you're making up to $25 an hour, up to $250 a week for doing this. And oh, by the way, if you want to scale that to a six or seven figure biz, you, you know, click here to find out more, so, so on and so forth, okay? So you can outsource. Uh, for instance, you could outsource to, let's say, uh, a lot of marketers use uh, folks in the Philippines. They use uh, uh, agencies in the Philippines to outsource. A big reason is because a lot of Filipinos speak English. All right, the, the wages in the Philippines is not nearly what it is in the US or Canada or Australia. So you could hire someone, let's say from the Philippines um, and pay them a living and working wage in the Philippines, but it's a lot cheaper than if you were hiring someone in the US and the minimum wage is whatever it is now, you know, and I know there's some pushing to get it up to $15 an hour. So you might be able to hire someone who does the viewing on your behalf for $4, let's call it $5 an hour. So Queen, there's no reason why everybody should not get their 10 hours worth of viewing in. So the first thing is, is to make a covenant that you're going to get your 10 hours a week, whether you view or someone else views on your behalf or even outsource that. What that does is that creates the, the maximum amount of income flowing through the entire structure. The person viewing gets the maximum amount up to $250 a week. Their referrer gets up to $50 a week, $200 a month for every personal uh, person that they have referred that views. And then anybody in a 10 level organization, 10 people, 10 people, uh, could earn up to $40 a month for someone being in their organization that did the viewing. Okay. Now, this is very key. This is very key to scaling to a six or seven figure business. All right. So one, you committed to that. Number two, I want you to covenant that a minimum of 50% my preference would be 100%, but everybody has different situations. Some people have, I got to have some money right now, and I get that. But I want you to covenant that a minimum of 50% to as high as 100% of your viewing income will go towards marketing.
Okay. Now this is for those that want to do well beyond the potential thousand dollars a month of your own viewing. If you tell me I'm game, I want to build a six or seven figure business. We've got to invest in marketing. Now here's the deal. This is where we kind of infuse a little bit of some of the training we've been doing over the past few months. Okay. How do you build a marketing enterprise using the internet and using uh, mobile? Number one, you must build a list that you own and control. Now, the challenge that many people have in building a list is they don't have a marketing budget. You can build a list with free advertising, or I won't say free, because it's not free, it costs you time. You can build a list organically, doing some stuff on Facebook organically, uh, doing some stuff with Twitter organically. Uh, posting YouTube videos and hoping that people stumble across your videos organically. And you can be successful, but that's building slow. That's building slow. You want to build a list where people are opting in to an email list of yours that you own and control. You control the content that goes to that list. You want to build a list, an SMS text messaging list which is by far a more intimate list than even an email list. But you want to build a list that you own and control. The key here is you need to build that list consistently. To do it consistently requires paid marketing. Paid marketing. That means you need to go and pay to get eyeballs coming to your offer. Well, what has been the problem for a lot of people being able to build a list? They didn't have what? They didn't have a marketing budget. All right. Now, I want you to see how we're doing something here. We're, we're, we're identifying pain. We're identifying hurt. We're identifying frustration. I want a list. I understand that having a list is my big asset. Ladies and gentlemen, I send out an email to my list two hours before we did a Thursday uh, webinar. And we don't even normally do webinars on Thursday. And from that, one of the dudes in my list responded back to me. I've known him for a couple of years, all right? He responded back to me, hey, I was just about to join, but since I know you're promoting it, give me your link. I give him my link, queen. In the first 24 hours, queen, dude had registered 192 people. Now, how did that happen? Because he's in my list. You have to have a list. You have to have a list. And paid marketing is the way to get your list. Up to this point, if you weren't good at marketing, you didn't have the, I won't say you didn't have, you may not have had the extra resources for a paid marketing campaign. Excuse me, I got excited. My throat is dry, I feel a cough. Hold on. <coughs> okay, so Queen. So if you're generating $1,000, a month in your viewing income, I'm saying take 500 as a minimum for that to be your marketing budget. Okay. I would prefer a thousand, but take at least 50% for that to be your ongoing marketing budget. Because remember for every person that you personally enroll just in THW, not to mention any other thing that you might talk to them about now or down the road, Every person that you personally enroll could be worth $200 a month for you. Queen, this one dude enrolled 192 people in the first 24 hours. He's over, uh, I think he's over 240 personal enrollees now. And then guess what, Queen? He enrolled a dude that has personally enrolled over 125 folks. So from one person in my list, there's... 200 and some odd from his personal enrollees, one of his guys enrolled 120. We probably have five, 600 people in our 10 level organization because of this one dude who happened to be in my list. If he's not in my list, queen, he joins, but he joins somebody else because he didn't see my communication. How important is that list? How important is that list? How important is that list? Okay. All right. So you've got to build a list that you own and control. Then once you have a list, 
you have to build a bond with this list. Without building a bond, your list won't be responsive. You want to have a responsive list. And the way you build a bond with that list is that you consistently provide valuable content to your list. Now, this is where our system comes into play. This is where Mobile Internet Blueprint comes into play. Because one of the things that we uh, 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 saw as we started to understand what eight-figure marketers are doing, what are they doing to, to, to generate $10 million plus a year in their business? They're identifying what the challenges are, what the uh, uh, frustrations are, the anguish points are of the target market. And one of the things that we saw is that even if people built a list, most people did not have valuable content that they could send to their list consistently. And so instead, like I'm on somebody's list and the only time I ever hear from them is when they're pitching something. They never provide value in their pitch. I have no problem with you pitching something. I'm pitching something now. What am I pitching? I've been pitching THW since we got here. But notice how I have framed the pitch in value. And so, so here's this one, here's this one dude. I'm on his email list and you know, I get several emails from him every single week and every email is just a pitch. He's never giving me value. All right. You, if you're going to pitch, no problem with the pitch, but wrap that pitch in value. Well, here's the problem. How do you do that? Especially if you've never made money in the industry. So you've got people out there saying attraction, marketing, attraction, marketing, hold yourself out as a leader. Hold yourself out as a leader and, and don't just pitch your network marketing company or send out your replicated uh, link. You know, provide value and hold yourself out as a leader. Well, how the heck do you do that if you've never made a dollar online? Or how the heck do you do that if, if communicating like I'm communicating to you right now is not your skill set? How the heck do you do that if presenting or training is not your skill set? I, um, um, I was a part of a... Um, uh, a traffic training uh, um, system. And one of the things the guy said was, hey, you need to be doing webinars. The, all the top leaders are doing webinars. You need to be doing webinars. Well, Susan, that's easy for me. This stuff comes easy. This right here comes easy to me. You know, I ain't good at, at that much. I'm good at, at, at presenting and training and <clears throat> me, 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 me. <clears throat> and done this in a while, queen. Proud to be an American, well, at least I know I used to be, but not right now free. Oh my gosh, that boy is so talented. And you heard the hip hopness. You heard the hip hopness scream. But so, so I, I can, I can present, I can train. That's what my skill set is. So here is what we do with our audience, ladies and gentlemen. How about we provide a robust series of a valuable content that you can share with your list so that your list is getting value from you. It doesn't have to be your content. It doesn't have to, you don't have to be the content creator. You just have to provide valuable content. And in doing so, that allows you to start to build a relationship with your list. So when you do have a promotional offer, they're more apt to listen to you because you've been providing value. Did you hear that hip hop? Is they're more apt to listen to you because you provided value? Oh my gosh, that boy. Woo. <laughs> okay. All right. So you've got to bond with your list. That's where mobile internet blueprint comes in to play because that's what we've been doing. That's what we've been sharing uh, with our audience. And then number th the third part of that is you monetize your list. But your monetization of your list is a byproduct of building that list and bonding with that list. You build, you bond, you build, you bond, you build, you bond, then you monetize. Okay. Now, so here's what I want you to commit to. 50% as a minimum, as much as 100%, if you can afford it, of your viewing income recapping, recapitalizing back into your business in the form of marketing. Now, what does marketing consist of? Marketing will consist of 
Give me a moment. Marketing is going to consist of the proper tools and resources to help you build your list. So this is going to include things like, not limited to, but things like uh, a commercial autoresponder. None of that free autoresponder stuff, all right? You want a commercial autoresponder. Uh, example, AWeber, get response. If you don't know what this stuff is, don't worry about it. You just keep sticking around, all right? Get response. Um, there's a system called ClickFunnels that has its own autoresponder system, so on and so forth. This needs to be a part of your business. Without an autoresponder, you can't build an effective email list, okay? Uh, things like a lead capture software. There's a number of those out there. Uh, I've used lead pages. If you saw the content we sent out today, if you watched the video, that was done by lead pages. Here recently, I've uh, picked up ClickFunnels. I'll be doing most of my things going forward uh, with uh, ClickFunnels. We're being um, uh, mentored by an eight figure uh, um, uh, mentor and um, he strongly suggested click funnel so hey he's doing eight figures yes sir click funnels it is all right uh, and there's a number of different ones out there but you need a lead capture software where you can capture the lead you can change the look and feel of lead capture pages so your lead capture page looks different than than queens uh that looks different than mine it looks different than melvin's so on and so forth so you have kind of your unique customized look uh, 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 on things. That's an example of a tool and resource. Um, uh, you want to have a uh, commercial. Doesn't mean you're going to get all of this right at once, but Queen, every month you've got a marketing budget. So maybe you pick up one tool this month and you pick up another tool the next month, so on and so forth. You want to have a commercial um, uh, screen capture software. I use, for instance, what's called Camstasia. You can find this at, there's no referral, anything uh, related to this, techsmith.com. Uh, I think the license is like 300 bucks. Um, every now and then there'll be an upgrade that you might uh, uh, decide to purchase, but there's no monthly anything. Like three, listen, outside of my autoresponder, this has made me more money than anything else, period. All right? When I'm sending out video content, what am I using? I'm using Camstasia, okay? And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you ultimately, we're going to get to that, but I'm going to show you how to use Camstasia if you want to use Camstasia, okay? How to do some editing and, and what have you. I don't do a whole lot. I'm not a big techie guy, all right? But I know enough about how to edit, so you've got a nice video, so on and so forth, okay? All right, so these are just some examples of some of the tools and resources that I use in my business that you're going to want to use in your business. And now there's no excuse for not adding these. Here's one of the things that I just added. I just added a new webinar system um, that uh, simulates a live webinar. Now, the reason I added this is because I can do a couple of things and I'm going to recommend this uh, to you uh, in time as well. Um, I'm doing this live webinar now. I'll send out a recording, all right? But there's a lot of people that want to view this that can't view it uh, right now. With a simulated uh, webinar, a simulated live webinar, people love coming to an event, scheduling a time to come to an event, all right? With a simulated live webinar, it has the look and the feel of a live webinar, but it really is simply a webinar that was previously done that was recorded that people are now scheduling time to, to come and view. Now, the reason I got this particular system, however, is because one, I can essentially have a webinar going every 15 minutes. So a person might see my uh, uh, advertisement, they might see my email, they wanna come to the webinar, instead of having to wait until Tuesday night or Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, they could uh, say, hey, I wanna view this webinar in the next 15 minutes or I want to view this uh, webinar two hours from now, or four hours from now, or I want to watch yesterday's webinar replay. What just so happens, yesterday's webinar replay is the same webinar they're going to view in 15 minutes, or two hours, or four hours from now, but they don't know that, all right? Now, that's one thing. The other thing about this webinar system is, let's say that I'm sending people traffic to the webinar. One of the things you will find out is it's easier 
Well, let me not say it's easier. Um, I may go over my time here today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm not going to apologize for it. If you've got to jump off, you've got to jump off because I want to make sure we're bringing you, you amazing value, okay? Uh, if you're getting value right now, just put a V in the questions box. If you're getting value, if anything I'm saying right now is bringing you value, put a V in the questions box. Even if you don't understand it all just yet, don't worry about that. You keep following us, you'll get it, all right? Fantastic, okay. All right, so get this, Carolina. So here's what you would be able to do. If you leverage the same live webinar system that I'm, uh, that, that I'm um, uh, leveraging, you could take a webinar, let's say that I record it, because maybe this is not your, your skill set. A webinar that I recorded, you get the, uh, you get the um, embed code so that it's the same webinar, but you put it on your webinar system. Now you're driving traffic where people can watch a webinar. This is what we have found. People are more apt to give you a legitimate email address when they opt in for a webinar versus just opting into a regular lead capture page. Why? Because they, they're conditioned that they're going to get an email sent from the webinar company, so they've got to give you a legit email versus when people just opt into an email web page, all right, just a capture page, a lot of times they're not using their best email address. So with this webinar system, when someone opts into uh, the webinar with their name and their email address so that they can attend the webinar, whether they attend or not, guess what you just did, Queen? You just added a person to your list, okay? Now, what Carolina can then do if she has this webinar system, is as the webinar is progressing, there are going to be times where we have a call to action. So let's say at minute uh, uh, 12 minutes and 11 seconds into the webinar. Give me a moment. Let me make sure that's not my wife calling me. It's not. Forgive me for having that uh, phone in the background, but I just need to make sure if my wife needs me, she can get a hold of me. Okay. So let's say there's a call to action. Hey, click now to register for uh, THW Global. So let's say there's a webinar about THW Global. Click now to register for THW Global. Well, Queen, if you have that same webinar system, all right, you could have your link that when I say click now to register for a THW Global, there's a button that pops up right there on the webinar and guess whose link it is? It's yours, not mine. It's yours, not Paul's. It's yours, not Lorenzo's. Is that, a, is that a heck of a system or is that a heck of a system? Yeah, so Queen, that system is $500 for the year. So I'm saying in time you want that because I'm going to be doing webinars. And, and Queen, what we, what we can do, we may do a number of different webinars for different audiences. So maybe there's an audience that's not for marketers. Maybe you're just trying to get somebody who wants to make some extra money. So that messaging may be a little bit different. So I do a webinar on that. If you use the same system, you could have that webinar on in your system. You're capturing the leads. And then when we say at 12 minutes and 13 seconds, hey, click here, it's your link there. As opposed to me having to say on a webinar like now, hey, get back to the person who referred you. Well, you know, that person then uh, uh, emails you and you're not available, what have you, and then they get anxious and they go and join somebody else. Does that happen from time to time? Yes, it does. Okay. So this is what I mean by having the proper tools and resources. But now you've got a marketing budget. Now you've got a marketing budget if you look at your viewing income as a seed. All right. Do you do do you consume the seed or do you plant it? You plant it. You consume the harvest coming from the seed. And even when you have a harvest, you take some of that and what? Replant so that you get a bigger harvest. And then you take some of that seed. You put some of that in your pocket. Right. You got some harvest. Go pay some bills. But then you continue to scale up your business. All right. And then obviously. We're talking about paid advertising. Whether we're talking about pay-per-click marketing, whether we're talking about banner advertising, whether we're talking about solo ads, whether we're talking about Facebook, whether we're talking about Queen. With this one, shoot, you go down to Kinko's, you print up some flyers, you hire a kid to go out and get some flyers out about earning up to $25 an hour. You put an ad in the paper about earning up to $25 an hour. You put an ad on Craigslist about earning up to $25 an hour. 
queen. And remember, every person that you personally enroll could be worth up to $200 a month just from their viewing. And what if you get a dude? Shoot, queen, there's a guy that, that registered with me. I love this guy. I won't mention his name. He's been with me on a few different businesses. I don't ever remember him referring more than one or two or three. And I'm looking and I'm like, dude's got like 30 personal referrals. And, and Queen, this is at a point where we're still saying it could be crap. Now, let me tell you this, and I got I to gotta hurry this along, okay? Let's assume it's gold. Let, let's assume it's gold. Okay, let's assume it's gold. All right, if it's gold, what we're going to do is we're going to build out one well of a, uh, of a marketing funnel, or you could call it a sales funnel. What is a sales funnel? What is a marketing funnel? Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Let me see if I have this already up. Darn. I don't. Okay. I was going to give you the exact verbiage, but what a marketing funnel is is a sales process whereby you educate your prospect on your solutions to their problems. I have made the commitment that going forward for the rest of my marketing career, I will only promote things where it is using some type of funnel based system. So either it already has to have a funnel in place, a, a, a clearly defined, a well-defined sales process uh, where the pro where the prospect is educated about what the problems are and how this product or service service brings solutions to their problems, brings the, or the ointment, the healing, the salve to their problems. And if the, if the offer doesn't already have that, then I either need to be able to build a funnel ba around it and if I don't feel like I can build a good funnel around it, then I'm not messing with it, okay? So everything I'm doing going forward in terms of promoting will have a funnel-based system, which will include 24-hour um, uh, um, day, seven-day-a-week presentation material. All right, I think we've brought some value to tonight's webinar, but this would not be good enough uh, uh, building out long term. Why? Because it is based on a person having to come at 8 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday night. OK, I love live webinars. We will continue to do live webinars. But from a promotional standpoint, we need something that expresses and educates the consumer as to our solutions to their problems. All right. Now, I don't know what THW will or will not have in terms of presentation. I know it won't be what I would want to communicate to my audience, because what I want to communicate to our audience is not just, hey, join for free. I want to communicate to our audience this right here. You want to build a six or seven figure business? Commit to 10 hours a week. See, a lot of people, Queen, are going to get people to join them. And a lot of those people that join them because it's free, they're going to view it as free and they're not going to do anything else. And they're not even going to view the first hour. Whereas I would prefer, I want quantity, but I really want quality. I know I got to go through quantity to get the quality. What I want, give me a hundred people that I personally enroll that will watch 10 hours of content each week. Because you give me that queen, I got 20 grand a month coming. I got 20 grand a month. So I want the message. I want it powerful. I want it passionate. I want people not just making a commitment, but making a covenant. I am going to get my 10 hours. I want them at the end of the week say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I only have eight hours and a half. I got to drop everything. I got to watch this other hour and a half uh, worth of content. Because in doing that, we maximize the income for everybody. I want people to know, hey, if you're tied up, you got a lot of going on. Hey, you can go over and get and outsource that. I want people to know that. And then I want people to make the commitment that they're going to take 50 percent to as much as 100 percent, not of your entire income, of your viewing income. 
That becomes your seed. Now, we'll talk about what happens uh, uh, as your income grows beyond your viewing income. There's a certain percentage minimum that we're going to want to use to scale our business even more. OK, we won't talk about that tonight because we're already over our time. All right. So. So. So we'll have a 24 hour a day, seven day a week uh, uh, presentation material that people will be able to leverage. OK. And I promise you, I promise you, I know there'll be other people that will come up with presentation material. Um, Queen, this is what we do. This is what we're good at. That. And I'm going to love you forever. It's, it only seems to be country music. I don't, you know, it's not R&B. It's not pop. It's forever and ever. Amen. That boy can sing. All right. Anyway. Okay. We're also going to have, we're going to build out a robust email sequence. To be specific for THW, all right? We already have some, uh, some, some content in what we call a value vault that is um, more generic, all right? We will still use that content, but we'll also uh, build out some content that will be more specific to THW so that when you're sending that content out, it's very clear that, that the call of action is for people to either join you in THW through your link or or if they've already joined you to get on board and become game game, meaning that they are making the covenant of viewing for 10 hours. They're making the covenant of taking 50% uh, 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 to 100% of their viewing income and putting that and in, in, back into uh, marketing. OK. Um, We'll have a training portal. We'll have a whole bunch of stuff. I need to finish up right there. Let me just give you this last bit, and then we'll take a few minutes of, of optional Q&A. By the way, what I've just done has been the type of training that we've been providing on our Tuesday night uh, webinar with our mobile internet blueprint uh, uh, following. When that system launches, we will connect the dots between our mobile system and THW, again, again we're assuming uh, uh, THW is gold. And ladies and gentlemen, it will be an income opportunity beyond probably anything that any of us have ever seen, assuming that THW is, is gold. Here's the one last thing I want to leave you with real, real quickly, okay? Let me tell you the other thing that this does, and this is what I saw very quickly, that, that again, Queen, I almost got that alfalfa thing, that one little hair in the middle of my head, all right? All right? This right here, when we, we're going to build a culture, those who follow us, we're going to be our, build a culture of people making a covenant to do the 10 hours so they're maximizing their viewing income, then taking 50% to as much as 100% and investing that in marketing to build out their list so they can share THW, they can share Mobile Internet Blueprint, they can share whatever it is they want to share because it's their list. But now think this through, Queen. Now you're going to have a team of people, a team of people that are all building out their lists. So whenever, Queen, you have an offer that you take to your list, let's say it's a network marketing type offer, you take to your list. You're going to have people in your list that are going to join with you because you've already helped them make money. So why wouldn't they join you? Right. OK. But more importantly, they will have a list. So now you've got let's say you've got an email list of 10,000 folks or SMS text list of a couple thousand, 5,000, 10,000 folks. And now you've got all these people that you have referred because you've been marketing now. So people are joining you. All right. You, if you don't have the content, you're going to have the content to share with them. Right. You're going to have 24 hour a day, seven day a week content to share with them. You're going to have email content to share with them. You're going to have SMS text content that you're going to be able to share with them that brings the value, brings the good. I'm not going to mention my name, which is why I'm the marketer formerly known as T. Lamont. Don't call me T. Lamont anymore because in my uh, uh, content I'm going to be sharing, I'm not going to mention my name. So they don't come looking for me. 
they wind up joining with you. I've also been known as I'm the I'm the I'm like the artist formerly known as Queen, I'm the marketer for all right. I, I've used BitCat for a pro promotion that we're doing, but the funnel I, I will build a funnel with anything I ever do going forward in marketing. And so Queen, now you can refer to me as the funnel doc or doc for short. Okay. All right. So so if I say doc, Queen, they don't know. Well, who is that dude? I'm not going to say what my name is. So if I'm creating content that you can leverage, you can leverage it knowing that they have to come back to who? You. To you. Okay. All right. So now you start to build out, Queen, this organization of people that's following you that when you present some other offer, whatever that offer may be, you already have people in your following that have what? lists they have lists so a buddy of mine back in november of last year sent out to his list i'm on his list i'm in his organization it was a e-commerce network marketing opportunity that was launching basically like a new division he had a lot of folks in his organization over the last couple of years that had bought into the building list message. So he sends out an, an email. I get it. I then sent out an email to my list. He had other people that sent out emails to their list. And the end result was in his first month promoting that new company, he generated over $40,000. Why? Because not only did he have a list, but he had people in his list that had a list that's what we will do if thw is, is gold and then when we add in mobile marketing which is a far more intimate uh, uh list building than even email uh marketing when we add that in and we have this content that you can use whether it is more generic business building type content or whether it is more specific to the thw offer uh, um, or a combination of the two, you will not, if you follow what we do, you will not lack for quality, valuable content. The goal, Troy, in time would be that you're developing your own content. But until you do that, we can jumpstart your business by you having content to begin to share. So Queen, they're supposed to be launching July the 4th. We are uh, starting tomorrow. I start creating Independence Day, Queen. Starting, starting tomorrow, I start cutting content specifically for this offer. Um, the worst case is crap, and it meant that I spent some time and whatever. All right, that's that's our worst case. That's our worst case. Am I willing to take? Am I willing to take that risk? And it's not cost. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Queen, I tell you what, tell you what, I'm going to have to go in a few moments. Uh, if you put in questions before, we can't see them now. Put those in now. You've got 15. Uh, I'm going to take 15 minutes. I'm going to post something up on the whiteboard. If you know nothing about our mobile internet blueprint, you, you, you haven't come to any trainings about it or what have you. I do want to post this real quickly. This is a demo. So you can see the type of uh, training content that we send out via SMS text. You can go to mibdemo.com. Uh, we will not send out any personal referral links uh, there. You will opt in with your cell phone number, not with an email address. And if you are on here and you've not already registered for THW, um, then make sure you connect back to the person that got you to tonight's webinar. Get their THW link. Um, it takes all of a minute maybe two, it probably doesn't take two minutes, all of a minute for you to get registered. Be mindful that their servers are, 